What is up guys, the Premium Rat here, and welcome back to the weird, the wonderful, the wacky, the mm, fucked up Q&A series where we get the weirdest, the wackiest, the stupidest questions known to man. But that's just the way I am, and that's the way that you you guys are as well, and that's why I love you lot, because you lot have the most fucked up imaginations, and that equals mine. They're just exactly, they, they mirror my thoughts as well. It's like we have some telepathic, you know... Um, bloody, I don't even know what I was going to say. Anyway, I haven't done these in absolutely ages um, for various reasons, obviously. But uh, it feels good to be back. You guys really love these. I love making them because they're funny and we just get the fucked up. And I just give my honest opinions. I don't give a shit. Like, I really just, I really just say what I think. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll crack straight on anyway. We haven't done these in, in a while. But anyway, the first question comes in from Tipplefish Nemo on Twitter. And she asks, and she, in fact... She asks, what's the worst part of any gaming community, from the COD community to the FIFA community, in your opinion? Um, I, get this, I get this question asked quite a lot. Um, I'd say the worst part of being in any community is the, the arguments, the, the petty sort of scraps and digs at people. It's mainly all over Twitter, you know, that's where it kicks off. You know, you don't usually argue with someone over a YouTube message or, or, or Skype as well. Skype and, and Twitter go hand in hand. They're the, they're the places that usually spark off some sort of argument or someone said something about bitching usually. Someone says something behind someone else's back and then they've told them and then they've confronted them on Twitter and then everyone... The thing with Twitter is everyone can see it and everyone always has to get involved. Um, me, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of this in the past. I've been... I've had arguments with people and I've got involved in stuff I shouldn't have got involved in. I don't do that anymore. That's the thing of the past. I haven't done that in a couple of months, actually. Um, so I'd say it was probably the arguments. Thanks for the question. The next one comes in from Sammy Volt, Sammy Volt sorry, and he asks, where do you think Spurs will finish in the Premier League this season? Um, I Obviously, Champions League is always what we're aiming for, but I genuinely think we can bag third this year. Um, you know, if we keep... It all depends if we keep Bale or not. I know he is a f massive, massive figure at our club. And, you know, it's... I. I've been caught up in all the Bale saga too much that I forgot to realise that we've so, we've signed some fantastic players. You know, we've signed Paulinho, who is a world-class centre mid. Played for Brazil in the Confederations Cup. Usually always in their squad. And we've also signed Soldado from Valencia, who is a world-class striker. And that is what we've been crying out for for the past couple of years. And, you know, we've, I've been so caught up, I haven't realize that we actually signed it hasn't sunk in that we've signed these fantastic players it's the first time in fuck knows how many years that we've actually gone out and spent money it's 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 kind of weird because you usually know we us Tottenham Hotspur we don't buy players it's really weird but this summer we actually have so we can keep Bale now we've got a world-class striker fantastic center center mid pairing you know we've got Sandro Dembele and Paulinho I believe that will probably be the center mid partnership um so hopefully third if not at least Champions League. You got. To, you got to at least with that squad now. I, I'd be surprised if we don't actually bag Champions League this year. So thanks for the question. Next one comes in from Robbie Snedden, 26, and he asks: If Spurs didn't exist, which BPL team would you support? Um, I hate to say it, but it probably would be Arsenal. Um, BPL's pit team, it probably would be Arsenal because, you know, my, my dad is an Arsenal fan. My dad's side of the family is Arsenal. My mum's side of the family is Spurs. That's why I support Tottenham. Um, if it was any team, then it would 100% be Watford. You know, I live in Watford, was born in Watford. I go to a lot of Watford away games. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, I managed to capture the minute silence um, for Chucho Benitez because we went. it was Birmingham City away first game of the season. Um, so I managed to capture that. Um, but... So obviously it would just I'd, I'd just support Watford full time. Um, I, I hate to say it though, but if it was Barclays Premier League team, it probably would be Arsenal. Obviously I would never support them now because of the way I've been brought up and supporting Tottenham and all that sort of stuff. But if Spurs never existed ever, then um, you never know. I probably would have ended up supporting them. Thanks for the question. The next one comes in from J B N C A F C or Joseph Bellamy. I think his name is. He asked me quite a lot of questions in the past, and he asks, "What time do you normally wake up?" Hashtag Ask Rat. Um, I've been waking up quite early recently. Today I woke up at like half nine, um, ten o'clock, usually eleven o'clock the latest. Um, because, you know, I, it's not like I hate laying in and, and waking up late. But the thing is, though, if you wake up at f two, three, four o'clock, the day is pretty much done and you can't do anything. You know, I've been waking up early. 
since I've come back from YouTube, I've had the hunger to actually grind out videos, and I've been waking up early, been getting on FIFA, getting clips, just generally commentating squad builders, just doing pink slip videos. I've been getting up early, and it's good to get up early because then you can get all your footage made, you can get all your videos done early, nice and early, and you don't have to worry about scrapping together a video later on in the day. You don't have to panic. So uh, I've been waiting up, waking up pretty early. Um, thanks for the question. Next one comes in from. At Dale Design, and he asks, "What is the most awkward situation you've ever been in?" Um, now, obviously, I asked these questions on Twitter, so if you aren't following me in there, then definitely go and follow me. And I got this about half an hour ago, and I was just sitting there thinking to myself, "What is the most awkward situation I've been in?" I've been in quite a few, and I couldn't think of the most awkward situation. But the most recent one, I'd have to say, is um, last week I was watching a program called Skins. Um, those of you in the UK will probably would have heard of it. Those of you in the US that are watching this video or other countries, Skins is basically a program. Um, it's it's like a obviously a fictional program um, about some kids sort of my age, 18. Well, I think it was about 16, 17, 18. Um, just generally going through like, like I can't really compare it to anything else that's on telly. What else is on? TV that's like that. I don't really know. But anyway, it's like just sort of a program about those kids and yeah. It's quite it's quite good anyway. It's um anyway, yeah, anyway. So, I used to watch it when I was when I was younger when I was about 13. I'm 18 now. I'm almost 19. But it was big when I was back when I was younger. Um they've done seven series is it and I used to watch it series 1 2 3 4 and then after that it got a little bit boring. But anyway, they've brought it back to do a couple final episodes just to um say goodbye forever. Um and I was watching it the other night. And there was, and I was just watching it with my mum. I don't know why she just decided to watch it. She's seen it a bit of it before. I don't know. She obviously was bored, and she just decided to watch it with me. And there was a, a massive, long, drawn-out sex scene right in the middle of it. And I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake, this is just quite awkward. But you know, it, it's always the same. Not not necessarily on TV, but whenever you talk about sex with your parents, I think that's quite awkward. I haven't done it that much. Like I don't really, I don't tend to speak to my parents about sex and anything like that. Um, I'm quite happy to speak to them about drugs and alcohol and stuff. I don't take drugs, but you know, obviously I do drink, um, and that seems fine. But sex, I think, is just a little bit of a touchy subject. So anyway, thanks for the question. Next one comes in from, if I just get up Twitter. Next one comes in from G3033, and he asks, Wank with barbed wire on your hand or eat five nails? I'd probably eat the nails. If you could chop them up finely, I know you're eating like metal there and that's not good for you, but I'd probably eat the nails. Um, yeah, even though the f that's still fucked up. But thanks for the question anyway. And the last one comes in from uh, Jake or PS Gamer 610 And he asks, what would you do if you had the chance to be locked in a room with Justin Bieber and how would you kill him? I probably will get some stick for this, but I, I won't. I probably wouldn't kill him, you know, I I don't mind just to be with that, I don't listen to his music, but fair play to him, you know, he's built himself, um, he'll never have to work, an, a, like, a hard day's work in his life, um, so fair play to him, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys, if you enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you're new, I love making these, if you're not already following me on Twitter, the link to my Twitter will be down in the description. Go ahead and follow me on there, not just to answer, ask the questions, but generally just to keep up to date with what I'm doing here, there, and everywhere. And, uh, yeah, apart from that, guys, give this video a cheeky little thumbs up. If we could hit 100 likes or 75 or anywhere near 100, that would be fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.